And the wrench is a response to adversity. And the reality of life is, is that we all have adversity, different varying kinds, but it ultimately is our response to adverse situations that really will define who we are and how we live. What was the first time that you saw or heard about the wrench? Um, in, in the spring, when all the full-time guys go out, were hitting the road recruiting, Coach Creighton was just kind of formulating some things. And, you know, obviously, uh, as a player at Wabash, we still talked about closing the gap and everything. And, you know, that, that's been a mantra of his for a long time and something that I uh, personally ascribe to. And uh, he was talking about a way to show that. Um, and one of the ways that he was talking, and, you know, we were getting into the blue-collar work ethic of the state of Michigan, especially the east side of the state. And uh, he had talked about, you know, on a pipe wrench, they have that adjustable end. Um, so, you know, I did a little digging and the tool was made by a, a company called Rigid Tools and they're in Strongsville, Ohio. And it just so happened that weekend I was going to go down to uh, Cincinnati for the cool clinic, which is the offensive line coaches clinic um, held in Cincinnati every year. And uh, kind of just walked in the front door and talked to a secretary. And next thing I knew, the owner of the company was uh, walking down the stairs and uh, he took me on a. Um, a full tour of the facility and everything. And at the very end of it, he just kind of, we walked up and they were finishing assembling this six foot, 52 pound pipe wrench. He just gave it to me. When you get back and you handed him the wrench for the first time, what was that reaction? I carried it up there and I gave it to him. And uh, uh, he, man, he just pressed it over his head and started walking around with it and showing everybody. And it was, uh, you know, it was that was kind of the first piece of the puzzle of everything that we were trying to put together there. You know, when you saw it, you knew right away, man, you had to be a dude. You had to be a guy to carry that thing. And it was it was tough. I mean, it was something that you, you couldn't, that you could, it just resonated with the blue collar, tough mentality that you had to do to be, to play a, 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 in Eastern Michigan. It's just, a, it creates a mindset, running out of that tunnel, um, knowing what the work it, that, that's been put in and seeing that reinforced before you even take the field. Like it puts you in the right frame of mind to go out there and attack. The hammers, the wrench, all the things that we would do, you know, when those things are, are, are come off the wall and are carried out on the field, it signifies all the stuff that goes into, um, you know, going out and, and going after those 12 wins, those 13 wins every year. And uh, like I said, Coach Creighton's the very best when it comes to elevating those moments that you, you remember them long, long after your time there wearing the green and white. I think I think of it as, you know, people say adversity, but I think it was life's best swing at you. Something's winding up to swing at you, and it's the wrench. And it's how you take it, how you react to that, and then the outcome from it. And, you know, from what I've seen, guy after guy, game after game, has carried out that wrench. Coach and player has taken that, taken that event, turned it into their own, had a great response to it, and has had a great outcome from it. Whether it's the death of a family, you know, something bad happened to them directly or someone in their family, anything, they've taken that that event and turned it into a great opportunity. You know, we uh, we all took a knee after practice um, early in the week because uh, Terry was back down in Atlanta. Uh, like you said, his dad had uh, suffered a uh, massive heart attack. Um, and, you know, I said, hey, if there's, obviously, if there's anything that we can do for you up here, let me know. And uh, he said, coach, People normally don't say they have something. He said, Coach, um, hey, there's one thing. Um, keep winning. And I thought I was going to start to hear Rocky music coming out of, like, the walls. Um, but it was awesome. But uh, he's obviously following us. Terry, come on up. Grab the ring. That was back in 2018. And that was a big game. My family was actually gonna to come to the game. So that was really special for me to be able to carry the wrench at that time because, you know, my dad is, you know, he's an extremely important figure in my life. So by far, arguably the most important. So being able to carry the wrench, um, being given that respect by the team, um, that was very special for me. And I intend on making my last performance here at Eastern pretty special for him. I want him to enjoy it. It's very emotional. Um, people. People in the program know exactly why you have it. You've been through some type of trial or tribulation. So being able to carry the wrench with my team, leading the team out on the national stage out in California, that was emotional for me. Um, I never experienced anything like it before. 
It may not be flashy, but the wrench is real. A symbol that represents the hardworking history of Southeast Michigan, with vices that symbolize the ability to close the gap between where you are and where you want to be, and a constant reminder that sometimes the hardest choices are the right ones. Many falter when challenges arise. At Eastern Michigan, we simply say, give me the wrench.